Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Entertainment Podcast, your source for all things entertainment. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Mark Cantor on the line, and he's CEO and chairman over at Instigate. Mark, welcome yo, to the show. Yo, yo. How's it going? What's up? Oh, man. Hey, I'm excited to have you on the line today, known as the father of multimedia. You're the guy I want on the line for this. We're going to talk about conversational storytelling and how it's a new form of self-expression. Um, but before we get too far into that, I want to go a little bit further into what you're doing over at Instigate. Tell us a little bit more about your company, please. Well, you know, I'm an old school toolsmith. And back in the day, we enabled normal people to control multimedia. You know, that was a company called Macromind. That became Macromedia. So we enabled hundreds of thousands of people to take some software, move things around the screen, and build multimedia presentations, visualizations, simulations. And what we're doing today is we're doing the same thing for AI, okay? We're enabling normal people to get and build AI-driven entertainment on a conversational way. So imagine taking an Instagram story and inserting little AI in what they call NLP, natural language processing, you know, like Siri or Alexa or that kind of stuff. And so we're going to teach you and enable you to build these interactive stories that look like conversations with an Instagram story, okay? So photos and videos and memes interacting and interlaced with a conversation. And it's a whole new kind of thing. It's a whole new kind of, you know, entertainment. Wow, this is exciting. I mean, this this takes the um, this almost takes it almost becomes an immersive environment now or experience now. It kind of changes the whole arc, the way the story is told on that now. Well, you know, we use the word immersive to re refer to the 3D spatial stuff. This is 2D. This is messaging, right? You see that very characteristic input field on the bottom of the screen. And up on the top of the screen, instead of just seeing text as if you're like in a chat bot or something, you see a video. You see a photo. And then you ask the being a question. And so it's basically a three-way relationship between the creator who crafts the story, creates the conversation, and then she shares it privately with her friends. So in fact, it's a whole new kind of social model as well, right? The creator creates the conversation, shares it privately, and if the creator has any kind of aspirational ambition, they can eventually take that being and share her publicly on a public timeline right next to famous celebs and brands. Wow, that is super exciting, um, and I think this is a good uh, good transition. So let's go let's go further down this um, down this path of conversational storytelling. Um, where do you want to start with that one? Well, okay. So uh, the way I look at it is that, that we are the next generation. If you look at you know, where I started with multimedia, then we went to blogging, then we went to YouTube, then we went to Snap and Instagram, and nowadays it's TikTok. So what we're doing is what happens after. TikTok, right? This is FOMO, right? This is like the next big thing. Now, the other aspect of Instigate is that it's a DIY creator platform. Anybody who learns how to use the tool will be able to make a living building these beings for celebs and brands. We'll create a whole ecosystem, and as the celebs and brands take their messaging out there, one of the cool things about Instigate is you can go into a being and copy any element, so a photo, a video, a bass line, a soundtrack. You can copy that from Tesla, Beyonce, Procter & Gamble, Glossier. You can copy those elements and paste them into your own being. So it's a remix kind of culture thing, right? So we've got a whole new way of self-expression. There's a way to make a living. And then along the way, we're teaching you the fundamentals of AI. Right? The whole thing is a progressive learning platform. You start at the bottom level, level one, just like a game. You learn the basics. You build these beings. And then as you earn points, you progressively move your way up through the levels of the, of the program, learning more advanced AI concepts 
and getting more advanced features as you go, as you progress your way up through the system. So you learn by doing, right? So it's a new form of self-expression. It's a DIY creator platform, and it's an AI offering pedagogical learn by doing platform. Man, that is so exciting. You have me all excited now. I'm like, oh, I, I want to learn. <laughs> Dude, Mark, that's so what it's about. You got me, you got me, you got me. Um, so take me through, like like me, like just say I'm, I'm brand new to this. I don't know. I don't I know about AI only from what I'm talking on this podcast all day long. Yeah. Other than that, I've yeah. never actually done anything myself. Yeah. So I'm going to start at the bottom of the bottom. What does it look like? Use me as your user case scenario for some of the listeners out there okay. that are in the same exact, okay. the same exact That's boat as good. me. They're like, they're like, I want to do something too. I mean, take me through what that looks like, please. Well, the first thing that happens is that someone shares a being with you, okay? And you you get this email and you tap on a URL. This is all mobile, right? Mm -hmm. So up comes this thing and it's a video and someone's telling a story. They're walking down the street, just like you were looking at Instagram story. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the difference is that instead of the Instagram story, like kind of unfolding like a slideshow after the first video plays, then everything pauses and it waits for you to type something. So you can either ask a question, make a remark, get all snarky, whatever you want, or just hit the, the next button and step to the next video or photo or meme. Okay. Now soundtracks start playing, overlay, uh, audio narration starts playing. So it's a full multimedia experience and each creator gets a tool and this is all built into the product to enable them to create their own uh, being, okay? So it starts off with me just viewing some beings. And they'll be, like I said, celeb and brands, pro quality, mainstream stuff, TikTok stuff, or just totally funky, what we used to call UGC, user-generated content, stuff that comes from the people, okay? So you cruise around, and at some point you decide, well, I can do this myself. And there's a button that says, create my own. So you tap on that and uploads this editor, a tool, okay? And it, imagine being able to edit and control Instagram stories. And so you, you lay it out in a sequence called a script, right? There's a photo, there's some music, and there's some interactivity. And the interactivity allows you to anticipate how will your friend react when she gets this share, right? So you're crafting a conversation. And so you share it with her and she types back, what's this, you know? And, you know, yeah. what does my daughter talk about? She talks about the teacher in school they all hate. She talks about the latest movie. Yesterday, she's talking about Black Lives Matter. Then she's talking about her colored sneakers and how she wears, wants to wear my hemp hoodie that I bought in Amsterdam. And then, you know, like the, the scarf around her mouth and the tear gas that got thrown at the rally. You know, I mean, this is what they're talking about. They, they have nicknames and sayings of their own language. And that language is what she tells and trains the being to talk, to say, right? So she's sharing it privately with her friends. Like I said, it's a whole new social model. So she creates this being, she shares with her friends, and she goes, oh, yeah, that reminds me of Mr. Hempley. Goes, yeah, but what about that cute new guy, uh, Joe? You know, he's got uh -huh. a nice butt, you know? And so they have their own kind of vernacular, their own way to talk to each other, right? It's, they're their own posse, okay? Now, so I, so I strongly believe that designers and entrepreneurs who create new kinds of entertainment, they should learn from the past. They should learn from what's hot, but they also have to have the courage to try something new. Now, when you try something new, change is hard for people to take, right? So you look at our product and go, oh man, this is too hard to learn, or oh, I've got to do all this or that. And my answer is, most of the tools out there today are so simple, they're actually kind of condescending. Like, place an emoji on a photo. Type some text. That's it. Mm -hmm. And so I'm a toolsmith. I wanted to design tools for my daughter and her generation to have more powerful, sophisticated tools that as they invest time and energy, they learn the product. They, they go up a learning curve. And the more and more you put in, the more and more you get out. You see, AI is not some simplistic little thing that can be reduced to some stupid template. 
We want you to learn the actual concepts of what a backstory is, what story structures are, what topics do, and uh, you know how do when you import an Instagram story, how you can manipulate that and deconstruct it, and all the nuances of storytelling. All that gets trained along the way as you progress your way up through this uh, the levels of the pr- product. Man, that is so amazing. Um, that being said, it's like, what are the rights? There's a lot of people listening right now that are just excited as myself. Um, what are yeah. the right, um, what is, how do people engage with the platform? I mean, give us some of the nuts and bolts, people that want to well, sign up, all that good stuff. Well, one of the things I'm doing because I'm an old school software guy is that I want to make sure that entrepreneurs see the process of what it takes to invent software. We're about four and a half years into this process. We've done three different prototypes. Every time we do a prototype, we put it out there to test it and collect feedback. So we're getting ready to release the third prototype. Um, There's a teaser site at instigate.ai, and then you'll see some of the history of what's been going on the past two, three years uh, that's been trying to keep it transparent to show other software developers what it takes. So we're not done yet, right? Well, we'll, we'll get the product out by the summer, and instigate.ai is the, the web presence, but it's a mobile app that will be available both on Android and iOS. Oh, man, that's awesome. So we'll be sure to put a link in the uh, show notes for everyone there. So you can just go down there um, and, and go check it out. And, Mark, definitely want you back on the show once this thing is launched in the summer 100%. Oh, have, we have, have a lot to learn from you. I do. Um, I'm still, like I told you in the pre-show, I'm still a pup in this multimedia and media game. Only been in it oh, four dude. years. You've been developing this one product for four years. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. awesome having you on the show, seriously. Um, All right, sir. Said, Appreciate you coming on the show. Can you leave me that leave that website one more time? Because I know the first time the listeners didn't have their pens ready or they weren't in front of their computer. What's that website? One more time. All right. So what we're going to do is enable you to instigate a conversation. So the brand is instigate and the website is instigate.ai. Fantastic. And uh, so thanks again, Mark. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters uh, Entertainment, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Mark, thanks again for another show. All right, sir. Thank you.